Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Wes with Dad Does Adventure, and today we are talking about Starlink Mini. Let's jump into it. So when Starlink emailed me as a residential customer and offered me a discounted monthly service along with a discounted hardware to jump on the mini Starlink bandwagon, I absolutely jumped all over that. So before we get into what makes the mini so cool and how I'm going to use it, let's talk briefly about SpaceX and the original launch of Starlink. Starlink was SpaceX's ambitious project to have high speed, low latency internet through satellite and they did this through very low orbiting satellites. These satellites are only 340 miles off the surface of the Earth, and that is what gives them the ability to deliver such great internet. This project was launched in 2015, and by 2018, they had a prototype satellite up in space, and by 2019, they were officially able to provide the service. This service was hit with huge fanfare, myself included. I actually gave up high-speed home internet in exchange for the service, mainly because of reliability and mobility. Now in 2023, SpaceX has over 4,000 satellites up in orbit, and almost every inch of the globe has the ability to have high-speed internet. Each satellite roughly weighs 579 pounds, about the size of a coffee table, and SpaceX has the ability to launch 60 at one time using its Falcon 9 rocket. Now with this exceptional service fully in place and the infrastructure circling the Earth, what makes the Mini such an exceptional product? Well, the Mini accomplishes all the things in the residential and the Rome service that priorly SpaceX offered, but it does it in a two pound body while also incorporating the router into the satellite receiver. So everything is bundled up into one compact lightweight unit. The unit comes with two stand mount options. It has the lean to fold out stand and the pipe clamp stand. I will probably be using neither of these. I like the idea of an encapsulation unit with magnets or suction cups, and I can throw it on top of the rig and forget about it until I'm home. This unit is so light, it actually has a proposition to be backpacked with. If you couple the two pound unit with a one pound power tool battery and a one pound power tool battery harness, you can for four pounds and some change have a few hours of high speed internet. I don't think that this is something that's going to be used on a regular basis because that is a lot of weight in backpacking terms. However, for the novelty aspect alone, I think I'm gonna try it at least a handful of times. So while backpacking, I take a Garmin satellite unit as well as my phone, and I'm usually navigating off of all trails on my phone with a backup being on my Garmin unit. I can make text messages via satellite through the inReach service, but if I took the Starlink Mini along with me, I would be able to do things like check emails, make a FaceTime call back to home, and do a detailed weather check. I don't think the pros outweigh, pun intended, the cons, but for pure novelty, I think that this would be a really fun option from time to time. So how would I use this unit and what is the application that's most attractive? Well, having to take my residential unit and attach the satellite receiver and the router on the inside of my cab was relatively a pain in the butt. Now I can mount the residential stuff permanently at my home and have permanent satellite internet even when the power goes down and I can take the mini on the road in a very quick and easy method. Having internet through my vehicle's auxiliary battery system is so cool because it allows me to do work and keeps me out on location longer. So I can check emails, check in with family, do creative work, and get back to adventuring. So I think that this truly opens up the opportunity for more extensive adventures and having a few of the comforts from home while still enjoying the outdoors. And I get it, there's a big argument to be made that taking technology into the backcountry is a huge detriment, but the only counter argument that I would provide is one on the safety side, and that's really the obvious case use for it, but the other side of it is if it does provide an opportunity to get work done and do things that would keep you out longer, I would make the argument that it is actually promoting more outdoor activity by allowing the opportunity for you to be out doing whatever adventure you're doing for a longer period of time. There are also some of us who have a hard time really unwinding if we're not sure everything's okay. I probably fall into this category a little bit. So being able to check my emails, check in at home, really gives me the type of peace of mind that makes it super easy to enjoy an adventure or being out in the backcountry. 
So we're definitely gonna do a six month update after we've used this for a while and let you know what we hate, what we love, and if we're still using it exactly the way we intended it. And I hope you come along for that. If you've enjoyed this video, I really hope that you would hit the subscribe button. If you want to see any future videos, please comment below. And as always, keep adventuring.